fortunate that the Cancer Center allowed us to be integral to the development of this clinic since the day one of its inception. And so myself, uh, Julie Blatt, and our nurses and families have all been involved with uh, designing this clinic, which has really been spectacular. You really have to see where we came from to really appreciate the true beauty of this space. The dramatic change is uh, very hard to describe to people. This new clinic is over three times the size of our old clinic. It has ample waiting space for children to come with their parents, their siblings, their aunts and uncles, and everyone to be comfortable. We wanted this clinic to really stand out from the other clinics in the building. Not that adults aren't special, but uh, we feel the kids are even more special. So we wanted a place that did not feel like a clinic, that did not feel like a hospital. So it's bright and cheery and uplifting, and so people are supposed to have fun here like our children do. There are things in the clinic to help entertain our littlest of children, because children could be born with cancer, and our long-term follow-up will be seeing people in their 40s, and hopefully soon in their 50s. So we've tried to design a clinic that is good for parents, for siblings, for really young folks and really old folks, and I think this clinic has accomplished it. I think it's the only time in my life I can truly say, looking back on the design I think we've been working five years on, that there's not a thing I would change at this point. very fortunate to be able to design uh, many special rooms for the clinic and I, I think this is probably one of the more special. Unfortunately children when they're diagnosed with cancer sometimes need procedures that are uncomfortable. This room is designed to hopefully provide the most up-to-date care without any discomfort. For years we've had a clinic where we get start an IV and give children a medicine when they go to sleep so when they get spinal taps and bone marrows nothing hurts. And that's an absolutely wonderful thing to do, but still starting an IV and sometimes the medicine feels uncomfortable to children isn't totally ideal. In the new clinic, we've been very fortunate to get an anesthesia machine so we can actually give the children a mask that gives them uh, gas that puts them to sleep, so absolutely nothing hurts. Other rooms that we've been able to develop in the clinic to give total care to our patients include a playroom that's been very graciously donated by a family that lives not far from here. Um, we have very special things in there for the younger children. We have another room that's a computer room for children so they can go online, learn about their disease, um, talk to other children in other facilities that have similar illnesses, but also, of course, have games and things that they can play at their age appropriate. We actually have a school room in the clinic. Some of our children come here to spend eight hours a day. They might be here for five days straight. They may be here every week. We try to make sure that our children graduate on time with their friends in their class, and so that's very special to our families. Other little things we've been able to put in the clinic is a room so we have this quiet, it's in the back side of the clinic, so that people can be talked to in privacy with um, dignity and uh, not being around other folks if they don't want to be. We have a social work office, we have a recreational therapy office. We have really room to provide all the services we need to in this clinic to provide the most uh, up-to-date and total person care. The area we're standing in right now is probably the heart of the clinic, right, right after the playroom, that is. This is where all the children get their chemotherapy. They might be sitting in these chairs for 10 minutes, 2 hours, 5 hours, 8 hours. Each bay has a recliner for the child and has two chairs for parents. It has a place for mom to put her purse and hide things. What's really cool about the space is each individual station has its own gaming station. So it'll have a TV, it'll have, I don't know what these games are called these days, but a PlayStation 3 actually, I think. And so the kids will be able to interact, but if they need to be by themselves, they can be by themselves as well. So it's a very special space. We also have two rooms that are kind of private rooms we set up as hospital rooms. It's not to stay overnight, but sometimes we have an adolescent or someone who's not feeling well or someone who just wants to be by themselves for a while. So we have two rooms, you actually close a door, be in the room, have your own TV gaming system again, uh, so people can have privacy when they want it. Usually our kids don't want privacy, they want to just run around and be normal children. I think the thing I'm looking forward to most is sitting in the lobby the first day and watching families come in and see the look on their face.